to think of it, what are belly buttons for? Hmm. <laughs> Did you know why we have belly ah. buttons? <laughs> Let knowledge click. Huh. Mm. When the baby is still in the womb, it can eat, breathe, or drink milk on its own. Instead, the baby gets food from the mother through a special tube called the umbilical cord. Besides food, the umbilical cord also carries oxygen and nutrients from the mother to the baby. After birth, the umbilical cord isn't needed anymore. The doctor will cut it to separate the baby from the mother. After about 7 to 14 days, the umbilical cord will fall off on its own without causing any pain. Even though everyone's belly button looks a little different, it's a reminder that we all once live in our mom's tummy. The belly button doesn't do much, but it still needs to be kept clean like the rest of your body. Gently wash your belly button during bath time. Keep it dry afterward. And don't touch it with your dirty fingers. Wow, I got it! Stay tuned for our next exploration. Did you know what will happen if we swallow gums? Let knowledge click! Uh. <laughs> this place will be all mine! Hmm. Oh. Oh, no. <sighs> Don't worry, it won't be that bad! When we <laughs> chill, the substance in our saliva mixed with the chewing gum. When this mixture is swallowed, it quickly comes Ouch. into contact with the acid in the stomach. Oh. Yeah. Due to the chewy structure of gum, it is difficult for it to break down. How can my stomach get rid of them then? Don't worry, even though chewing gum can be digested, your ah. stomach will still push it ah. out within about three days, just ah. like other food. Mm. <laughs> Swallowing one piece of chewing gum isn't dangerous. But you shouldn't swallow too many. Be sure to tell when it does right away if you accidentally do. Hmm. <sighs> Looks like you have some cavities. What's a cavity? Hmm. I think many friends have the same question as you. I'll tell you what it is. Let knowledge click. There are lots of germs in our mouth, but don't worry, not all of them are bad. Some germs really love sweet things, like candy, cake, and sugary milk. When they eat sugar, they make acid. That acid wears down the enamel, the tooth shield. If we don't clean it, the tiny hole gets bigger and turn into a cavity. At first, cavities don't hurt, so you don't even know they're there. 
But over time, the hole gets deeper and reaches the nerve. That's when your tooth starts to hurt and feels super sensitive. It can even swell up and get infected. And then you will need to see the dentist. Is there any way to avoid it? Yes. Remember these things. Brush and rinse your mouth every day. Use floss after meals to clean food stuck between your teeth. Try not to eat or drink too many sugary things. Just having hiccups. Don't worry. I'll explain to you. Let knowledge click. The thing that makes you hiccup is a muscle called diaphragm. It's a muscle you use to breathe in and out. When you eat or drink too fast, you swallow air. That can bother your diaphragm and make it jump suddenly. This pushes air up quickly through your throat. That's a hiccup. It can also happen when you feel big emotions like crying loudly, laughing hard, getting too excited, or feeling stressed. Well, hiccups are just a body reaction. They're not harmful, but they can be a little annoying. So, is there a way to make hiccups go away? There are some tricks you can try to stop hiccups, but no one knows which one works best. Or try drinking some water. Oh. Oh. Try breathing in and out into this bag. Oh. Oh. No. You scared me, Dr. Moon. <laughs> hey, my hiccups are gone. Giving someone a little surprise can help stop hiccups too. <laughs> but don't scare people too much, okay? We got it! Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel!